seen um, like the beehive really act the way that I've seen the barbs. And, and the beehive is crazy, but like the, the barbs are creepy crazy. So it's just something like kind of not really fully human, not functioning human brain about that fan base. And I think it's, it's something worth watching and paying attention to. Because the way uh, poor Portia was attacked, I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Portia was attacked. Yes. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. Like, they're going from bloggers now to other celebrities because Lisa yeah. Rinna hired the, the troll farm to go out. It's yeah. crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I damn sure been attacked. Viciously, we've had people come in our comment sections, our chats, uh, make channels, whole channels, whole channels, yeah. using, uh, what do you call those? Voice boxes. They, yeah. they will change their voice. They use voice boxes. They hide behind different avatars. Like, yes, crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. Diana really went after this girl named Funky, D Funky Diva. Philly Diva, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of Funky Diana. Philly right. Diva, uh, which she only had a 100 subscribers. Yeah. And she attacked her. Went in there, everybody started saying bad things about her. And then Diana herself went in there and started talking to her with 100 subscribers. That's weird. Mm -hmm. The the way that they obsess over coming up, we immediately started getting subs and back to back comments added 10K subs in 30 minutes. Who knows what they have the ability to do, but I'm glad it's coming out. And it's all machine operated. And I'm thinking too, Nosy, uh, that same voice sensor that YouTube have, maybe they have access to that too. Cause there's no damn way anybody could be on the internet 24 hours a day and monitor anybody that says their name. Because originally they said Diana and Lisa were in on it. Now Diana's trying to distance herself, but she what she did today was a huge victory for the public. Now you could go sue, or I'm hoping they get to a point where you could just ask Instagram for the information and they will give it to you. That's the information on who was behind it. I mean, that's gonna make a lot of celebrities look crazy and <laughs> they're gonna lose a lot of support because who wants to be supporting somebody who is like organizing bots to bully people. Yeah. Nobody wants to be associated with that. They're all distancing themselves now because originally they said Diana and Lisa were in on it. Now Diana's trying to distance herself, but she what she did today was a huge victory for the public. Now you could go sue, or I'm hoping they get to a point where you could just ask Instagram for the information and they will give it to you. That's what I'm yeah. hoping. And they should be able to because there are people who have committed suicide over bullying. Yeah, so like, it's true. You it's can't true. just let people do that on your platform, Instagram and YouTube and all. Like, you know, honestly, if somebody is really sending bots to bully people, that is, that's weird. And they should do something to stop it. You are right, Nose. I never thought about that. Yeah. Because you don't know it's a bot. You just think everyone's attacking you. Yeah. And that could affect your mental health. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Instagram has it runs a troll farm. So now what's going to happen when these people are starting to get caught? Right. And and like especially if uh Instagram has to turn over information on who is behind it. I mean, that's going to make a lot of celebrities look crazy and yeah. they're going to lose a lot of support cuz who wants to be supporting somebody who is like organizing bots to bully people? Yeah. Nobody wants to be associated with that. A lot of people are followers, unfortunately. It really is. I mean, yeah. but that's crazy that now that we know that celebrities will hire these troll farms. He said Lisa Renna paid him $27,000. Now, yeah. in the grand scheme of things, that's not a lot of money. Yeah. To, to like her, so she would do it. It's not like it really um, puts a damp damper on their paycheck. It doesn't on the, in their wallet. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's like giving us $20. So they yeah. just do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's, I mean, it's weird to do that at all. Like, why are you that worried about somebody else? You're rich, you're famous. Go live your life. It's weird. And he said in his letter, the letter that I sent you, that he has done a lot of high profile celebrities. But I don't think he's the only one that runs a troll farm. So now what's going to happen when these people are starting to get caught?
You in the hood now, baby. You're in the hood now, baby. That was Lil' Kim. <laughs> no, I love Lil' Kim. You're in the hood now. All right, so welcome everybody to Nosy Ho Live, um, celebrity news and gossip. And we have a guest tonight, Sherelle, from the YouTube channel, Sherelle's World. Thank you for coming over, Sherelle. Thank you for having me. Hey, everybody. Okay, so for the people that don't watch Housewives, there is a lady named Lisa Renna on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. She got accused of hiring a troll farm to go after another one of the housewives. Her name was Kathy Hilton. Um, within weeks of the program of, of this, it was a staged plot of how to take her down. There was a guy who came forward. His name is Patrick Summers. And he said that he's in charge of the troll farm and that he was hired to go after Kathy Hilton. Part of the troll farms, what they do is put bad comments in people's comment sections but not just that they'll make videos about you they go on a smear campaign to ruin your reputation mm -hmm. so the cat was out the bat that a housewife that makes 1.7 million dollars per season hired a troll farm to go after another uh, cast member so i was talking to nosy and i was saying do other celebrities use troll farms then the next day he came out and allegedly he said he's dealt with some high profile clients and people are saying that uh the rumor is kim kardashian is one of his clients oh my god so but you know what it's almost like back in the day when let's say you wanted um certain kind of press they would pay you off they would pay off the main the media to you know leak stories so it's a modern day way of fighting dirty that's how i'm gonna call what i say it's yeah. dirty her and diana jenkins this she's another reality tv star on the real housewives of beverly hills people start saying that they're working together and it was just a bad look saying that you use bots so today she so she announced that she was gonna hire a a cyber investigator to find out where these bots are coming from it's pretty hard to find out where they're coming from but she just got permission that instagram will hand over the information that the private investigators need to yeah. get to the bottom of where these bots are coming from that's bad news for the celebrities that use troll farms yes so the reason why this was so interesting to me, um, everybody has seen how the barbs attack people online. Everybody has seen that. And I have said this since they started attacking me in December of 2020. I said so many times, have y'all noticed that they kind of regurgitate the same thing over and over and they say, all oh, repeat that. Y'all have heard me say that for damn near two years. So, I mean, how do we know that these are not bots from the troll farm? Because it's creepy. They all do the same thing and they all post the unicorns over and over. Oh, really? The unicorns? Yes. Listen, we don't know. Yes. We don't know. But I do feel that me and you at two different times and maybe the same time when we were doing that, uh, talking about the other channel, have been a victim of the bots because there have been whole channels started up that talk about nothing but me yeah me too they exactly. have nothing they talk about me all day mm -hmm. to look into i mean they got busted and it outed everybody it, it's just uh, unbelievable that a celebrity that's getting paid millions of dollars will worry about one what people think to right. certain bloggers right who des designs a plan to take down a blogger yeah somebody who is really um a narcissist i mean i'm so you have to be a real narcissist to even like really upset like you know that you're a celebrity and especially if you're not a new celebrity because if you're like new to being a celebrity it might be overwhelming to you but like when you've been a like you know what comes with this so I mean, you just really have to be a narc. You have to be a narcissist to be that obsessed over what people think. It's weird, um, um, but that's the level of narcissism that you know needs to be studied. I'm just glad that they're coming forward because I don't know if this ever happened to you. But when I be 
One day I was getting attacked and all these negative comments in my comment section. I was floored. I was like, what is happening? Yeah. What is going? I didn't know what was going on. They'll come in my live chat. They would be in my comment section. They would go in my DMs. I'm like, what is going on? Right. And it happened. It's happened to me in my comments, like just the same comment over and over and over and over and over. Like, this is weird. And it's been happening to me, you know, for a while now. So. So, ladies and gentlemen, the bullying, the threats, the lies, she really wants Tasha K's life. It's not happening, you know? When we talk about, you know, the anger and the frustration, this is something that Cheryl is used to. Let's get into it. The link is in the chat. It's in the chat. Uh, let me go on mute. I just think it's very wrong for him to take out his latent aggression on y'all when the person he's really mad at is me. Okay, right. No, I, I you know what? And I get what y'all saying, right? And All right. So, um, let's go ahead and welcome Cheryl up. Cheryl, go ahead, introduce yourself. This is a nice gathering. I know that you're very excited to come. So go ahead and sound off, sis. He said what I gotta say. As a man, fuck? he said no, huh? What the fuck? Why would you say some shit like that? You trying to cause a division between me and Storm? Hell no! He the one that said it. He he wasn't just talking about me. He was yeah, talking he was about just talking me. About Okay, well, I, I, you know, people That's what lie. liars do. They oh, lie. Hold on. Hold on. When you spoke to him, they must have been on tour today. Perry. Calling everybody about this. Perry, when did you talk to Storm? Oh, it was tonight. Yeah, he was doing cleanup. He was he talked about he well, was talking about you know what, the whole thing is this, right? Hey, but, you know, and whether and like say we go with the narrative and say he was lying. Well, let me say what I gotta say. As what a the man, fuck? he said no, huh? What the fuck? Why would you say some shit like that? You trying to cause a division between me and Storm? Hell no! He the one that said it. He see, he wasn't just talking about me. He was yeah, he talking was about just talking about around. who else he was talking about then. What? Sherelle, he no, was no, talking no, about no, me. me. That's some no, bullshit. I think no, it's no, some shit. You know what? I could put your ass on blast right now if I wanted to. Put 